Okay, it's time for another unbagging from Banggood.com. Now this product was given to me by Banggood in order to review it. As you can see, it's probably obvious what this is. This is another product by a company called Red Arrow that they sell on Banggood. Obviously, this is a live tail center, but what makes this one unique is not only, I'm not sure if you can see through there, it's hollow all the way through, it's hollow all the way through. So you, this is basically a mandrel saver. However, as you can see by all these little packages here, there are inserts that go into the end of this. So there you have it. One mandrel with six different attachments. This setup was about $30. Going over the anatomy of this center, what you will find with each of these is they are actually tapered like a Morse taper. And also there is a very slight little lip down inside so that way these can't go in very far. Now what obviously may happen is once this is in and you're applying pressure, you may have to use a bar to pop these out once they're in. But that is also a nice feature and good sign of quality that these are actually tapered. Um, I really wasn't sure how these would connect. I was worried that there would be a little set screw, since this is the right way to do it. So the next step will be for me to uh, try these out. So let's take a closer look at this tool. As I stated before, it is a live center, hollow all the way through, and I apologize, but I'm not exactly sure how big the opening is. Was hoping that maybe a 3 8 inch bolt would fit through this. That could give you even more possibilities. However, it will not. It's close. Now, to be honest with you, only about three of these have I found to be immediately useful. This is one which is a really good one to have. Normally when you get a lathe, they are going to come with one of these as this Harbor Freight one came with itself. And these are really good because not only do you get a center point, but you have this cup here to help prevent splitting of the wood. So if you go all the way in to your bottom out on the cup, then you've got good centering, good clamping, and hopefully you won't split the wood. So this is just a smaller version of what already comes with a lathe. Then the second one that would probably be the, the most useful would be this one, which I believe is a 60 degree cone shape. I tried to compare it to determine, and I believe it is. And I like to turn these, what I you know, the 12 cent pins. And up until now, I've been using like a 60 degree. And this works great, but one problem I'm always having is that when you're running your tool along this upper edge, uh, I've actually hit this, uh, <laughs> I've hit the cone center before, the 6 degree, and I've actually marked it and I had to kind of sand it back down smooth again. One beautiful aspect of this is now when I want to turn my pins, you'll notice that now that whole diameter is smaller than the width I'm making my pin. So in that regards, when I'm running my tool across, there's no chance I'm going to run into this. And then the third most useful tool I feel would be this cup. 
You may not use it very often, but this is something that could really come in handy. I'll give you a quick example of, of an idea. Now, when you're working on smaller items, such as this little vase, a cone center, like the six degree, it will fit. But one problem, of course, as you may already know, is if I tighten this too much, it's very likely I could make this thing explode. It'll blow right out. So another option is get one of these cups put on the end, then get yourself a ball, in this case a tennis ball, and now you've got a way to put pressure to hold this without hopefully blowing this apart. My overall opinion of this tail life center is it's great for small items. I mean, you can use this for anything, but what I'm getting at is with all of these attachments, they clearly are gearing it towards smaller items. Now on to what I kind of considering a little disappointing is you have what I believe to be an adapter so you can use this as a mandrel saver. However, what I've discovered is if I put a mandrel, try to put a pen mandrel into this, it doesn't fit. It's very, very close, but it just won't fit. And I'm starting to believe that maybe Red Arrow is trying to make this a proprietary tool because they do sell pen mandrels. They have the bare rod that's meant to have a mandrel saver. They even sell a kit that comes with a mandrel saver and the pen mandrel. Now what I'm going to do to confirm all of that, because like I said, this hole is so close to a standard pen mandrel you might buy, um, that if you were to just slightly drill that hole bigger, a standard pen mandrel will fit in here. But I'm going to buy their pen mandrel and see if it just immediately fits in. I'm not really sure what the point is of this adapter. It almost looked like a larger size mandrel saver, but as you see, it doesn't drill all the way through. And then this, for me, I'm not really sure what the point is. It's a dead center, I guess they would call it, or a plum. It's just serrated teeth, but it doesn't have a centering pin. Okay, well, there you have it. A six in one tool for the price of one. In all honesty, you spend between $20 and $30 for just one type of live center for your tailstock. So with this, you get six different options. Even though I only really see three reliable options for me, but like I mentioned, you know, so many people use attachments for different purposes than they were originally intended for. So you may have other uses for those pieces that I said I have no use for. So I'm getting three for the price of one in my case. Now this isn't a full review. This is more of a first look. I'm gonna be putting this thing to the test. And if anything changes, you'll be the first to know.